This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at interactivity in Catalyst and motion in Catalyst. And we're going to start with interactivity because it's relatively simple to accomplish. And to get yourself started with this, I need you to open the interactions panel.fxp file located in your exercise folder. And when it opens, you'll see there are two states, main and image. And this is the main state that you see right here. And there's the image state, which is a restaurant in Wuhan. Now, what we want to do is take a look at how you can actually apply an interaction to this movie or this project. Now, there are two ways of doing it. You can do it globally or locally. Now, globally means it's the entire application. So if I had 10 states across here, I could actually move from state to state to state very easily when I start up the application. Now, to add any interaction in Catalyst, what you do is you open the Interactions panel by double-clicking the tab, and then just click the Add Interaction button. And it's going to ask you some questions. Now, with this one here, because nothing is selected, it's going to say, OK, fine, we're working in the application. So when the application starts, what do you want to do? Well, I want to play a transition to a state, but you can see that I get all kinds of other choices. I may want to play an action sequence. In other words, have some motion going on or when it starts up, actually open up a web page or play video. In this case, we just want play transition to state. Now that you've got that decided, it's going to ask you, OK, what state do you want to start from? What's your target state? In this case, well, it's the application. And once you've decided on the application, this next little blank thing that opens up here is basically asking, where do you want to go? Well, I want to go to the image state. And if I click OK, you can see there's the transition to the image. That's the transition we put in. If I test this movie in a browser, basically this is just going to pop and then right over to image. Now, what if you want to get rid of an interaction? Well, it's not that hard to do. You can just select it and click that little delete icon. Another thing that you can do is just double click your interaction. And you notice that the little panel opens up and you can make changes. So let's get rid of the transition to image and let's create a button that moves us from the main state to the image state. So we'll just delete that. OK, so open up your common library and there's a button component right there. Just drag it onto the state right there in the state one. And you can collapse the common library. Now we've got the button. Open up the properties. We don't want button. We want to have the word go. So select the label and type in the word go. Now that that's done, we can scroll down a bit. And we can say, look, use bold text here. And while we're at it, let's use a black color. And now that the button's done, you can see that it's got up, over, and down states because we're using one from the common library. Now let's wire it up so that when the button is clicked, we go to image. And again, what you do is you select the component. You don't need to select a state, just a component. Click the Add Interaction button. And it immediately recognizes what component you've selected here. So here, what I've got is when I click it. But if I pop down here, you can see that I got all sorts of choices. Double click, mouse down, all kinds of little mouse events that you can use. In this case here, let's just go with the simple one on click. We're going to play the transition to a state. So we're going to move from the main to the image state. What's our target? Well, our target is going to be within the application. Well, what's this other item all about? Well, it could actually be another component inside the page or even inside another state. But we're going to go with the application. And what state are we going to use? We're going to use the main state. Now, you may think that that's what that means. But actual fact, it means go from the application to the image state. And then it's going to ask you, what state do you want to do this from? Well, I want to do it when I'm only in the main state. So we're going to have a click. It's going to play a transition when I'm in the application, first page. and it's going to go to the image state only when I'm in the main state. So if I have this go button, we have six states here. I see the go button in state six. It's not going to work. It's only going to work when I'm in the main state. Click OK. And you can see there it is. Play transition to image if in main. Now let's see if that works. So we'll just test the movie. Command return or control enter. It's going to build the project and then open it up in the browser. And there it is. And you can see there's the interactive button. If I click it, I go to the state. Now there's a problem with this. My problem is, is that the user, even though it flickers when he or she rolls over it, you might want to give them more of an indication that this little button here is hot. And what you do there is you come to the properties panel, scroll down to appearance, and there's a little thing here called hand cursor. So if I select that, what that does is anything that is a button or interactive, 
we'll actually change the cursor from the arrow to the hand cursor. So let's see how that works. We'll just command return or control enter. Up it comes in the browser. And you see there's the cursor change. So there you go. There's kind of adding interactivity to your Catalyst projects. It's not that hard to do. In the next exercise, we're going to take a look at this thing down here called the timeline.